What is up guys? So today it is Boss Arenas and it is also Halloween. So yeah, pretty good that it's Halloween because uh, I get to eat lots of sweet stuff. And um, I don't normally do that to be honest. But yeah, it is good that it's Boss Arenas as well. And it, it it's Dread Balloon Cave, which is, I guess, kind of a Halloween arena. Like Pumpkin Patch is actually kind of, it's kind of got a Halloween feel to it. And so does Dread Balloon Cave, uh, which is pretty cool. So really happy it's boss arenas we're against a player looks like they grind quite a lot because they got haven't they got a pretty decent they got decent badges to be honest no fourth tower so we're gonna go with the farm um oh oh god oh god um let's go for the let's go for the tack mortar strategy because i really enjoy playing the strategy and going dark farm is just really boring for me at the moment like i played it so many times it just gets dull uh, actually, I'm going to put it down here, uh, so I don't have to move my finger so far. <laughs> no, right, that is like the height of laziness right there. Um, but yeah, I uploaded a video yesterday, which was, it was a, a video where I didn't do any commentary, and I just, I just did music and edited it a bit, uh, like a little bit of editing uh, to fit with the music and stuff. Uh, and I thought people would enjoy that, and they did, um, but not as much as my commentary, which was... Flattering. Thank you so much, guys, for saying you enjoy my commentary more. It was nice reading through those comments. Um, but sadly, the video also got quite a few dislikes. So I guess that people wouldn't want to see those videos again. Uh, but tough. It's my channel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload what I want. And if I feel like... Um, oh, he's going to be eco. But if I feel like uploading some gameplay with, without commentary sometime, then I'm going to do it. Like It's my channel. Like uh, Boltrix uploads... He uploads Town of... S Town of Salem? Yeah, it is Salem. I'm pretty sure it's Salem. I got it wrong last time. Not going to get it wrong again. He also did a face reveal. And um, I may link uh, the video in like a card that will pop up now. Although I always forget to do those. So maybe, uh, actually, you know, there probably won't be a card doing that. Um, so never mind about that. But yeah, check out his uh, channel. He did a face reveal. And um, his, I don't think his voice, uh, actually, I'm going to move this far more. I don't think his voice fits his face but um he's certainly not ugly i'm I, i'm just gonna say that he's not ugly uh no homo um <laughs> okay so let's send no let's not send anything that will get the plantation up and also if you're wondering about me doing a face reveal uh that's at 100k subscribers so basically never <laughs> i don't i really do not want to do a face reveal it just isn't something uh that i ever picture myself doing and i just don't I just don't really want to, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but if I do hit 100k subscribers, then I'm going to have to keep to my word. And I will do it. I will do it. Uh, it's just that that is never going to happen. So uh, you guys are never going to see a face reveal from me. So that is pretty rip. Unless, unless of course, like I turn into Molt or something and just do extremely late game videos and get like a million subscribers. Um, but I don't think Bloons is that active anymore, to be honest. Like, even Super John Bombo, he could definitely improve his, like, thumbnails and stuff. Uh, because they're not, they're not great at all. Like, even, my, I can't talk, my, my thumbnails aren't great either. I mean, they're alright. Uh, they're not amazing. Uh, but Super John Bombo's, uh, thumbnails are definitely not that good. Uh, he doesn't have a graphics designer. He does have some pretty good pictures of all the towers. He had, like, an artist, um, like, draw. Uh, the towers and it looks sick it could have been him actually i don't think it was though i think it was a uh, an outside artist but right so let's send we can't send it he's he's defending pretty well with what he has uh and he's ecoing so maybe we can kill him with the round 13 but he does have the ice tower so you can get he can get up an ice shards uh which is pretty op guys ice shards um can um you know wipe out a rush like that so that's pretty rip. He's sending me some of those. So I'm going to have to get another blade shooter up. And that will deal with it perfectly. And with the mortar, we <clears throat> we got an absolutely perfect defense right now. Uh, if he all outs me, then, uh, you know, I can I can literally just get a male storm out. Uh, which will wipe through everything he sends. And with the camo mortar, he can't really exploit it much, to be honest. It's a pretty solid spot for it. I'm going to upgrade that to plantation because I don't think he has enough money to send me camos. And I'm literally about to, yeah, so I get the upgrade. And we'll set it so, we'll set it here. So let's see, let's see. Is that, that, that is a good spot, yeah. Maybe we can put it a tiny bit more that way. Let's see what happens. Can it hit those? Yes. Okay, that is a good position. So let's send him a few zebras, regen zebras. 
camo uh, camo regen zebras and we'll see what he does against this it looks like he's gonna energy it but has he got camo detection up and he does have camo detection so we get the energy i'm gonna stop here carry on farming uh, all i wanted to do is really get is get the energy out of him he's sending me i believe he's sending me some uh, regen uh, regen um regen leads and now he's going back to sending eco so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it off that. I'm going to send... I'm going to pressure him a bit uh, by sending constant blacks at him like he's doing at me. Uh, and see see if that can get past his... Oh, it won't get past his... Okay, I'm going to send whites instead because the whites will get past his ice tower. And hopefully uh, we can start to cause him to struggle a bit. Yeah, he's struggling quite a lot actually. So is he going to have to energy that? I can, I can see quite a lot sneaking through, but no, he doesn't energy it. He just takes the leaks, takes the leaks there, and we're going to, we're going to save up for our BIA, so we can actually get that now. We can get that now. Oh, voice, <laughs> that voice break was one of the worst I have had in a while. Um, oh god, that was embarrassing, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, let's get up. Let's get up a, a attack sprayer here just in case he sends another, uh, not another, if he sends a mob then I'll get the attack sprayer up, then sell it and get the maelstrom, no need for an energy or anything and honestly he would struggle, he would struggle uh, against a mob but I do not have enough money to send him one so that is rip guys uh, and remember if he sends me the mob I will, it looks like he's just going eco um, so as he's going eco, wait are we going to start to struggle? Please say that blade shooter. Yeah, blade shooter is really good. It, it just wiped out all of that. And we're going to send him. I think we're going to send him some regular, regular zebras. Regular zebras. And it will go past his, it'll go past his ice tower for sure. And he's going to have to energy this. No way. He dealt with that so well. Okay, fair enough. He dealt with that really well. I did not expect him to deal with that so well. Uh, but he did. And if he sends a BFB, I am kind of screwed. That is, that is the honest thing. I am kind of screwed. I will have to sell my plantation and my other farm. How much money? I've got 6k saved up there. I do not want to be forced to empty my BIA though. That is the, that, that is not good at all. That's what we, that's what we definitely do not want to do. So if you don't send a BFB, I will get all of these up to tax prayers. We'll just get two up right now. Uh, two up to tax prayers, not blade shooters. Because if you think about it, tax prayers have double the popping power against mobs. Um, because they shoot more projectiles like each one shoots oh, I could get this wrong like I think each one uh, shoots 16 but again I could be wrong oh my god are we gonna struggle we're struggling we're we're struggling against this guys um, we're gonna have to get another one of these down here another one of those and he has a lot of darts why haven't I sent to BFB why haven't I sent to BFB I should have done that a long time ago long time ago I should have um we need a maelstorm, uh, a maelstrom, yeah, maelstrom, I keep calling it maelstrom, it's not, um, but we need, we need that for uh, the next round with the ceramics, but otherwise we will die, and dying is not my intention, to be honest, <laughs> I don't want to die, so he's gonna have to get up a fan club there, so we stopped him the e uh, ecoing for a bit, and we can get this maelstrom up, maelstrom up, so he's slowing that down, and I think he will be okay against that. But we will have to maelstrom that. Maelstrom that! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so we, oh wow, we hit, we hit so wow. Okay, so we hit, we hit the amount of money we need. I'm gonna get a ring of fire up there, uh, and then I'll get my full farm down there. We get an energy out of him. He does. Um, he buys a fan club as well, so he's gonna str start struggling. If I send another BFB. Uh, no, you can deal with that. I'm going to send an early oh my god, and see see what he does. Because uh, I don't think he'll be able to deal with it very well, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, we're going to have to get up. Don't know why I got my ring of fire up at the bottom there. Um, in my opinion, it should be... Sh actually, I guess it's alright there. I would have put it here, though. Uh, because with the range, it would have hit down there and up there as well. So I think that would have been better. But honestly, it does not matter. This isn't going to... It's not going to matter that much. Right, so we're going to get up some more tax shooters. Just 0-0 zero, zero, um, to prepare for an all-out rush because I will not be able to defend it very well with these towers. As you know, this loadout is not great. So like if Jaja Josh, the, the, the video of Maelstroming the bloody Zeom Gs. That was such a good video. That was such a good video. 
I really enjoyed that video by him. So basically, he was using this strategy, and he was maelstroming uh, uh, all of the Zomai gods, and he defended them really well. It's from... Because there's a mission in BTD5 called Maelstroming uh, the Bloody Moabs or something. I, I don't know. It's something like that. Um, someone like Smurfblade in the comments, tell me tell me more about it. Because I am oblivious to it, to be honest. Um, do we have... Yes, we do. I was so worried we didn't have our uh, Blade Maelstrom up in time. Um, I actually said it right that time. Oh, yes. I said it right that time. Um, have we upgraded all of these? No, we have not. We got those and we got those so i should up upgrade a range on all of these but it will not make much difference at all guys it will not make much difference i just have to be careful not to upgrade them to oh we can buy a factory are you kidding me no we can't we can't buy a factory fair enough i don't know why i upgraded all of those and didn't uh, bother getting my factory up i guess i was busy commentating i guess um so he won't have a very high eco right now he will not have a very high eco so i i reckon he has about 1000 1,500, maybe even a bit higher because I've not been aggressive, not aggressive at all. So I'm going to combat that. I'm going to send him uh, a fast cooldown, oh my god, and see how he defends it. Because he's going to have to slow it down with the ice. He was quite lucky to get ice. Oh no, because those are his three towers. Because he, ah, oh, I understand. I'm just being stupid. Never mind me, guys. I'm just being stupid, guys. Uh, let's get a few more <clears throat> tax shooters down here. We'll, these will be upgraded to maelstroms and we need to carry on farming. I keep forgetting about my farms. I could be farming so much better right now. But it looks like he is going to try and ground zero this. I reckon he's going to try and ground zero. And it looks like with our defense, can we take out round 28? It looks like just about. We have just the right defense to take it out. It's literally getting to the very end. Um, but we, But we are defending. We are defending, which is which is really good, guys. Uh, defending is what we want to do, guys. We want to defend this. We do. So, I wish there were hotkeys, to be honest, so I could fit these all in better. Because uh, if he sends on th on round 32, if he sends an all-out oh my god rush, I'm going down. I don't think there's any way I'm defending. Um, are we okay against that? We are okay against that. Upgrade to valuable Madonnas. Get a few more um, Maelstroms down here. Use a Maelstrom, because that was getting pretty close, guys. That was getting close. We'll upgrade these to faster firing and carry on farming. When it gets to round 32, I will start spamming some more uh, some more attack shooters. And it looks like... Can he deal with that? Yeah, he can. Okay. Fair enough. And he's kept... Because he's going eco, he's kept his... Uh, he's kept his super monkeys. Uh, his super monkey fan club. Sorry, I didn't realize. We had a whole... We had a whole bank there. Just saved up to 20k. I'm not sure how late I collected that, but hopefully... Hopefully it was not too late because then we would have been wasting some money. But hopefully it wasn't. We're going to use a Maelstrom there. And we have to be careful not to upgrade these to Ring of Fire. Because that would have no MOA popping power. Well, it would have some, but not much. So let's Maelstrom that. <clears throat> we need to be careful with round 32. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, this is getting too close to my liking. I do not like this round. This round... It killed me against Boltrix. When I played Boltrix, I died to this round. It was just bad. Oh, is he going to go down? Is he going to go down? He got. He went down to round 32. He has pulled a shaft, guys. He pulled a shaft. That was a long game. That was a long game. So, he pulled a shaft. We're going to jump into another game, guys. And we won't use that strat again. It is to our oh, Bloons TD5 Halloween map. Nice to see they're still updating Bloons TD5. Um, so, we're going to smoke weed bro and he has the top one badge and a decent skin that is my favorite skin um i wonder if you can tell it's me because i don't have my um i don't have my name up but it, <laughs> it just says cc noob it says cc noob so he's gonna say late game um <laughs> right, i'm gonna send that so right oh I, ha I need to put my towers i need to put my towers what am i gonna go with should we go with that let's go with that let's go with that um no, we need farm. We need farm. We need farm. No! What the hell was that? No! 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 What just came up there? So I just got a notification for something, like an update. And it disconnected me! No! No! Why? That is so unlucky! Great, so I just lost. Oh, and now we're against the... Oh, okay. 
That guy was actually decent, but I had Spike Factory. Oh dear, like, okay, so let's go for the same strat. Um, this is uh, the one that Jaja Josh uh, actually discovered, because he, he he discovers so many strategy. It, it is insane. He comes up with so, with so many metas. So there's Nature Spirit as well. Uh, I'm not sure what that was about. I'm not sure what that update was about. I'll check that after the video, but that is so annoying. Disconnecting us like that. I am not happy about that at all. Um, nothing we can do about it though. <clears throat> also, I've got a cough if you guys can't tell. Like a, a little bit of cough uh, and it's not nice at all. So sorry if my voice has been like, I don't know, if, I, if I've been coughing too much and it's annoying. I'm sorry, I have a cough. Nothing I can really do about it. I wanted to get a, a Halloween video out for you guys. I mean, it's not really themed Halloween-ish. Um, <clears throat> it's just a video filmed on Halloween, I guess. Okay, so... With this strat, I'm really bad at it. I've never done it before, but I know a few things about it, such as um, two Hydro Rocket Pods under the Monkey Fort. Monkey Fort is so good with this strat. It's the, the thing you need to get, because uh, the Monkey Fort, uh, it powers uh, it powers up the Dartling a lot. It really does. And we've got that up late. Oh, well. But it, it, it makes the popping power of every dart um, plus one. But with the rockets, it makes it shoot another projectile, as Nature Spirit uh, found out. It was pretty interesting, actually. So, with the... It's not every explosive, um, but with stuff like uh, the boat, uh, you know, the bomb uh, that the boat, uh, the buccaneer thing, uh, cannon ship, uh, throws out. Well, that is doubled under the monkey fort. And so, so is, apparently, uh, the hydro rocket pods, which is why... It's so effective. It is really effective. So, okay, we're going to boost some pinks out. Hopefully to get a, a few lives off them. Also to make them use their spikes. And they're going for the dart placements I would use. But apparently, they're going to make him leak quite a lot. And we get him to upgrade to another triple dart, guys, which is awesome. Uh, he didn't have to do that because I stopped sending. I only sent five sets. Um, but now we've got some more lives off him uh, than he has on us, which is nice. We're going to go for the plantation. Then we're going to upgrade to powerful darts. And I believe that, yeah, pops three more balloons each. So it triples the power of the 0-0. Zero, zero. So it's actually a decent... It actually pops a really decent amount of balloons. It's, it's actually really good. Um, but I'm not good with the strategy. I used it... Actually, I lied when I said I've never done this before. I used it one time before this. And I died to round 11 eco on patch. Uh, I know you guys are all going to laugh at me for that. But I legitimately died to round 11 eco on patch with this strategy. I know. Mock me all you like. I don't care. I'm I'm terrible. I know, guys. I'm so bad. I, I'm. Just... <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Anyway, so let's layer in. We'll, we'll buy our farm. And then we'll layer in a few blacks uh, with the AI. And see if we can get him to leak a bit. Or at least make him upgrade. Oh, okay. So he's going to buy the spiker port anyway. Uh, and against the blacks, it's not going to do anything really. It's just going to maybe even make it harder by making them into uh, making them to pinks. So he's going to boost me those. Uh, I'm going to get the faster shooting up. And if it gets too close, then I will have to energy this. But no, he hasn't sent enough. He's sending more. But honestly, I think I shall be okay against that. I think I'll be okay. Like I will leak some lives, um, but nothing too much. We're going to be fine against that. Nice. So we dealt with that surprisingly well, and I will get, I will be getting my village up just now. Uh, I'll put it here. No, I'll put it there. I'll put it there. I'll put it there. That's a fine spot. That's a fine spot. And we'll get the monkey, monkey beacon. We'll send him uh, two leads just to force him to upgrade. Um, just to force him to upgrade, and we're gonna have to buy the depleted balloon turning. I thought it was a thousand, but apparently it's less than that. Uh, that's weird. I didn't realize that. And we're gonna put the farm. Can we fit it there, please? Please, please. No, we can't. Rip. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we could get some easy farming there, uh, but apparently not. And we're going to get another Dartling gun down here. Hopefully, we can fit more than this. Uh, maybe we can fit another one uh, and see what happens. Because you'll see under the village, it's going to make it's gonna make it uh, really good. The Hydro Rocket Pods especially is going to be really good uh, under this. So, let's get another farm up here. We'll have to stop putting them up here, which is a shame. Uh, I like having them all in one place. Uh, but nothing we can do about it. And we are a whole farm ahead, guys, right now. We are a whole farm ahead. Um, are we going to have to boost this? We are. We, oh, I bought the... 
I bought the long life bananas. That's rip. I accidentally bought the wrong upgrade. So, ah, oh, we're going to struggle. We're going to struggle. We're struggling. We're struggling. But no, we're okay. We're okay. So, if he sends me another rush, I may sell that for the hydro rocket pods. How much can I sell it for? 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. I can sell it for that. I can. Um, see, let's see what he does. I'm going to buy that. And we'll see if he rushes me again. If he does, I will... Actually, I'm going to get this up. Can I fit it? Please say I can fit it. I can. Good. And then we'll get that up. So, we're going to save up for the VIA now. Hopefully, we can get it next round. I'm going to send him a few stuff. A few stuff. Yes, that's grammar. And see if we can make him... See if we can make him buy that Operation Dart Storm. Because with the leads, it's going to put him under a lot of pressure. So... Right, let's get the BIA. Are you kidding me? I can't even afford it. I can't afford the BIA. That is rip. But we didn't get him to energy, which is a shame. But we can, we're can. we so close to affording this BIA. Yes, we get the BIA. Nice on round 17. So that's good, guys. That is good. If he sends me a Moab, I'm going to buy... Well, actually, we need this anyway. I'm just going to get one of these up. Uh, another one up. If he sends a Moab, we'll be fine. And uh, we're going to send a... We're not going to send a Moab, actually. What we're going to send is some leads... Uh, just lay it in, just lay it in, and then we'll send uh, a ceramic on top of it, because I don't think he'll see the ceramic, because uh, it'll be under the leads, and, oh, is it going to go through, is it going to go through, no, it did not go through, so that was a fail of rush rip, <laughs> that that didn't work very well at all, but it seems like we're farming the same, so that's, that's good, and we, we can boost, we can boost the BFB if we need to, uh, I don't think I will need to, Actually, no, I will. If I, if I go for uh, Hydro Rocket Pods, I will boost the BFB straight away. Um, actually, we can we can cause him quite a lot of trouble. No, he went for the Operation Dart Storm. He is clever, guys. This guy is clever. He knows what he's doing. He's saving up. Uh, he, he was saving up for the Operation Dart Storm, so he's going to be fine. If he sends me a BFB, I will get this Hydro Rocket Pods up, and that will hopefully annihilate it. But... How much we got? We got 7k saved up. That's pretty sweet. That is good, guys. And yep, he's going to send it as soon as I thought he would. And let's upgrade this to Hydro Rocket Pods as soon as we have the money. Um, it's 6,000. How much? 6,300. Oh my god, we're so close. Give me the money. Give me the money. Okay. Hydro Rocket Pods and under the village is going to be so good. It's going to be really, really good. So let's see how it deals with... How is it going to deal with the, BF, uh, the Moabs? How is it going to deal with them? Um, we do have the energy if we need it. Um... Oh, I'm just going to edgy that. That is getting too close. Oh, that is getting so close. Don't kill me. No. Yes, we did defend. We did defend. How did we defend that? Okay, that that went very, very close. Uh, but we did defend. So, we're going to get this now. Banana Republic up. And they've done the same. So, that was a bit of a waste of money by them. Uh, but it did force us to get the Hydro Rocket Pods up. So, I thought we could do it without energying. If I got my Hydro Rocket uh, pods up a bit sooner, I think we could have done it without energying. Uh, oh, he's going to go for another one, I think. All right, he's going to go for another... He's going to go for two BFBs. So this is going to... Uh, three! He's going to go for three BFBs. Three! So, um... Let's go for another Hydro Rocket pods. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to... Oh, we can collect balance. So let's go for... Go for a balloon area denial system and with this we are going to wipe out these bfbs i hope i hope um yeah we're gonna we're gonna be fine against these bfbs with this we're gonna be absolutely fine um if we're not then uh judge josh is wrong and he's a horrible youtuber now i'm just <laughs> i'm just kidding but we should be okay against this he wasted a lot of money on that rush we're gonna press that and hopefully, with that ability activated, we'll, we, we will be fine against the balloons inside. Can we defend this? Can we defend it? It's getting very close. No, we do defend. We do defend. We do defend, guys. So, let's go for the factory, guys. Let's go for the factory. And can we afford it? Uh, wait, let's see. How? 14,000. Uh, we can't afford it yet. Let's go for another, just a normal Hydro Rocket Pods. And, yeah, by now, we are severely out farming him. Because we got we got a whole factory advantage a whole factory and he sent he sent four no maybe six bfbs and i demolished it with the with that hydro rocket pods it absolutely demolished his rush so with this i'm gonna send a few leads uh actually i'm gonna send regen leads uh and see what see what he does see what he does against the regen leads because he's not gonna see them and hopefully they're gonna get in the away of the 
He's, yeah, it's going to get in the way of the ace, and he is going down here. He's going to go down. He did not see them um, until too late, and he's going to go down. So I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.